It is not easy for me to put in words. In the first days, I felt like a stranger to this place. And now, after two weeks, it's like I've always been here. My daily rides through the forest. My dances and workouts in front of my cabin. And my walks through this magnificent nature that fills my soul, calms my mind and truly reconnects me every time I open up to it. Hello, you beautiful people. Today is Saturday, two weeks. I'm here in Sweden now. And I just looked outside and a miracle happened. A miracle happened. Look at this. Okay, I need to adjust. Because the sun is shining for the first time. Oh my God. Look at this, it's the sun. I'm so happy right now. It's the sun for the first time. Oh. Wow. I'm alive. <laughs> Sunday, I dedicated a day to myself, reconnecting and embracing and appreciating Sweden's raw nature.
So that was week number two. And I want to take this moment to share with you guys what this decision had an effect on my life. This stepping into the unknown and following my heart's calling. See, just because I made this decision to, to follow my heart's calling and, and go to Sweden doesn't mean I'm I'm happy all the time. It doesn't mean that there's no challenges or no moments of sadness. In fact, I feel like I have a much better connection to my emotions and now there's space for them to show up. There's pain showing up, there's fears showing up, there's sometimes sadness, sometimes loneliness and there's also joy, gratitude and, and playfulness. There's, there's everything. That doesn't change but the one thing that changed is that I have the true feeling in my heart that this is my path, that I am making my own decisions, and that I am following my life's journey, a dreamer's journey. I'm, I don't have the feeling that I'm, that I'm doing those things because I want to please my mom or my dad or my boss or my friends or anybody. I do this because I made this decision and that is the most fulfilling feeling ever. And there were moments in my life when I didn't really fully go my path and work for someone else or made something because I want to please someone else. This is when I felt out of energy and this was the moments when my alarm rings in the, in the mornings and I'm like, fuck, I don't want to do this. I don't want to get up and, and spend my lifetime to create for someone else because I have my own dreams. I want to create the, my own life that I truly want to live. And now I get up every morning at 5 a.m. and I do it because I love it, because I can catch a sunrise, because I can catch the photo, because some something inspires me that I want to share, something that inspires me that I want to do. And it's not necessarily in the easy path, but it feels so true in my heart. And suddenly there's just more and more things coming up that I truly want to do. Next year I want to buy a van, completely rebuild it to, to a living home basically and, and travel the world with it and tell stories along the way. That's something that inspires me. And honestly, at the end of my life, I want to look back on all those memories, on all these experiences. I want to say I, I, can, I can die as a happy person. I'm not afraid to die because I lived the way I wanted to live. And I made so many amazing memories with all the people I love. And I truly followed what is true to me, not because I wanted to please someone else. And that's why I'm here. And I know it can sometimes feel easy to stay in that job because there's money and there's safety and this is the common environment you're in. But in actuality, on the other, other side of that fear is freedom, connection and abundance. And with those words that I'm saying right now, I just want to open that space for you to dream again. Anything is possible, anything that you might want to do is possible and you can do that right now so take a moment take the next 30 minutes or an hour sit down and just watch what is coming up for you when you ask yourself the question what is it that i want to truly do in life then write everything down that inspires you that that makes you feel alive because that is that is the right that's a sign that you should go for it and then if you want to, leave a comment down below. What is your dream? What is the thing you want to do and that you always wanted to do? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, if it did anything to you, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What is your dream? And share this vlog with someone you love, where you say he or she is a dreamer. There's so much potential in him and he should just go for it. Go for his life. Go for the life and freedom and connection. I love you guys and I believe in you.